Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to multitask with multi window and seamless screen switching on Galaxy Z Fold 7. Let's begin! However, before we begin, there are a couple of things that we need to enable first in the settings. First, let's open the settings and simply scroll down to display section. Now, we want to scroll down a little, and right here we have few options. But you will notice that, for example, taskbar, which we'll actually use for this tutorial, is not supported on cover screen. So let's actually use our fold screen and let's unfold it. But I almost know how to do it. And as you can see, we are now in full mode. So, as you can see, taskbar is actually the little, oh, that's the taskbar, is the little bar that appears on the cover screen. Or in the main screen, actually, since this is technically the bigger screen, so I guess it's the main screen. And what's really cool about this is whenever you open anything here, or you can also use edge panel, and instead of clicking it, because clicking it normally, we'll just open it normally, like usually. However, if we press and hold something, we can actually drag it anywhere on any quarter or any half of the screen and actually even open it in the pop-up view. So, for example, we can open YouTube here and we can scroll down our gallery and also scroll down and watch something on YouTube. And even better, we can add even more things. For example, we can add our Google Play Store if you want to. So now we can choose a quarter of a screen. And this also works. Thanks to this enormous screen, we can actually open four applications at the same time. So for example, let's go with calculator. I'm not sure why would I use calculator, but here you have it. Or the Samsung browser. Though as you can see, we can't really open four at the same time, but we can open it as a pop-up view. So for example, we probably want to open our browser here and our beautiful calculator as a pop-up view. So, as you can see, there are there are plenty of things we can actually enable. But is it like practical? Can we do we have to do it every time? Luckily, we don't have to do it every time. I will though remove the calculator since I don't think it's very convenient to have your calculator all the time. But let's say we have our gallery our Google Play Store and our browser or YouTube. Like, to be honest, it can be whatever you want. In order to save that, which is very nice, you want to press these three dots in the middle of your screen and simply hit your star icon. And as you can see, now we have the ability to add app pair to either taskbar, home screen or apps edge panel. Obviously, adding it to taskbar will add it here at the bottom. Adding it to App Edge Panel, we'll add it here. And Home Screen is self-explanatory. So I will go with Home Screen. And as you can see, we have added something to our Home Screen. And as you can see, our shortcut is right there. And whenever we click on it, it will automatically open in exact same position, just like we saved it. I do think that's an incredibly convenient way for you to just use your device. And also, I talked about seamless screen switching. In order to actually enable that seamless screen switching, you want to simply head into your settings, and right under display, you have continue apps on cover screen. Because by default, you actually lock your device whenever you close your screen. We can set it to swipe up to continue application, or we can set it to always. So now, if I will go to always, and for example, enable YouTube. Now I will take the phone and I will fold it. We can see that we now have YouTube. And if I will open it, we also have YouTube. That's pretty cool. And yeah, I do think that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, Thanks for watching.